Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. In today's video, we're going to be talking about sub boxes, subscription boxes here in the planner community. I know there are subscription boxes in just about every industry when it comes to retail, but we're going to be getting into specifically planner subscription boxes, and I'm going to be unboxing the cloth and paper May stationary box. Cloth and paper has two. I just opted for the stationary box. They also have a Pinspiration one. So we're going to get into all of that right now. When it comes to sub boxes, there are so many for you to choose from and the price point varies. I've seen some less than $20 and some that go anywhere from $35 and up. The more that you pay, it also depends on the products that you're receiving. With the planner boxes, I've seen a lot of them really stay in that $35 to $40 range and you're getting a lot of stationary products in there. But for the ones that are exceeding that, you may be receiving a bag or a tumbler. It all depends on what that sub box is offering. So take that into account when you see the price and you're like, why is this so much? It's not just stationary that you may be receiving. So again, keep that in mind. As for the sub boxes that I have personally tried, this is my second cloth and paper box. I tried my first one back in October for my birthday. I just wanted to give it a shot and I liked it. And this one was actually Ashley, the founder, her birthday month. And this was for that. And then next month is the anniversary box. So I may be trying that one. Who knows? Depends on the sneak peeks. And the other one that I tried was the Erin Condren Summer 2019 Seasonal Box. The sale just went on for the Summer 2020 box and it is sold out, but that's typically the case with a lot of Erin Condren products. But when it comes to sub boxes, there are some that are released on a monthly basis and then there are others released on a quarterly basis. Cloth and Paper does theirs on a monthly basis and they have two options. They have a pen box and a stationary box. The pen box is less than 20 and the sub box is 35 or is it 36? One of those two. You can combine the two for 40 bucks and they do not offer free shipping. It's a certain amount. There's a certain threshold you have to get to, but for the sub boxes, you do have to pay shipping. Erin Condren on the flip side does seasonal boxes and they are typically an $80 value. You pay $40 and you get free shipping. Now, other boxes that I know that are out there, I know Gold Mine and Coco has one. It's a jewel box. Honey Bee Shop. I know Heather Kell here on YouTube just recently launched hers and she has the Kell of a Fan box. So there's so many to choose from. I also found that there's a Busy Bee Stationery box, the Inky box, the Fabulous Planner. I'll have all of these linked in the description box. But as for the pros and cons, when it comes to what you are getting, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck, so that's definitely a pro. You're also able to try new items that you may not have necessarily individually purchased. And when it comes to the items, a lot of these that you receive in the sub boxes are exclusive to the boxes and not even released on the site. I know that Erin Condren, a lot of the ones released in that box are not available on the website. They may release it down the line depending on certain items, but a lot of them is just a one shot deal in that box. If you get it, great. If you don't, it's not going to be on the site. And with cloth and paper, a lot of the sneak peeks of what may be coming to the website is what they offer. And plus, I mean, who doesn't want monthly goodies delivered to their door? It's a little surprise, a little happy mail, and more than ever, we need things to boost our spirits. My biggest con when it comes to sub boxes would be that you can't pick and choose the items that you're receiving. These are curated by the owners and they're giving you their favorites in a sense of what 
they want to put out every single month. So if they have new inserts coming out or if they're promoting certain things, then they might put that in the box just to give you a highlight of what's to come. Another thing that you'll find often in sub boxes may be a signature from that shop. I know cloth and paper has very neutral tones, so you're always going to get probably a page flag as well as sticky notes. So that's something that's often fine in these kinds of sub boxes. So that's my spiel on the pros and cons. Let's go ahead and look at this cloth and paper May stationery box. All right, so here is everything. And it comes with this card that says what's inside. So there are new contact inserts, new wish list tracker inserts, undated daily planner inserts and at Lear I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right there's a dashboard a photo texture dashboard and then a world clock dashboard cloth and paper does like cardstock dashboards as well as vellum another thing when it comes to the cons of items being curated for you and you don't really know what you're getting until you get it there are some things that you're going to come across that you don't like. And there's some things in this box that I'm not going to use. I'm one that pays it forward. But again, those are the kind of things you have to keep in mind when you're getting into and purchasing a sub box. And then there's more on the back. There's also the Dirty Chai Circle Sticky Notes. I know the Circle Sticky Notes are new to the shop. There's an Inbox Sticky Notes, 50 sheets. The Circle Sticky Notes are 25. There's espresso page flags, fawn matte stickers. I love those. And then there are five journaling cards. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything. So here are the inserts. I'm not going to take all of them out. But here is the contact insert. Very, very basic, very general. A lot of people love cloth and paper because they are so neutral. A lot of these planner boxes, you may get a little neutral here and there, but it's always something embellished on it. Like it's probably a flower or it's gray. Like black and white is signature to that of cloth and paper. So this contacts one is just general, the phone, email, website, address, notes, name, and birthday. I don't know when I'd be using these, but it's good to have. And these kinds of inserts are not just for, you know, people that you want to keep up with, but also if you're collaborating with different brands or doing Happy Mail and all that, this is great for that as well. Then there is this wish list tracker and this I'm actually going to be hacking and turning into a video log because I've been wanting one for my mini happy planner. And oh, that's another thing that I forgot to mention is when it comes to the planner stationary boxes, you can, there's a, if they have, ob, if they have items specifically for a certain type of planner, they will give you the option. So cloth and paper, I'm able to choose the size of planner per month and you can change it with no problem. As long as you change it in the window before it's shipped, you're good to go. So cloth and paper offers a variety of sizes. Before my October box was a half letter one and this time around I chose a mini. So with this wish list, you have item location price and then the checkbox. I'm definitely going to be hacking this one and I think it'll be perfect for what it is that I want to use it for. And then there's the dailies. The dailies were actually one that I wanted to purchase from cloth and paper. For my OG Chaotic Critic fan members, I was talking about it back in, what was it, December? Right before I purchased the ones on Etsy, I was just gonna get the cloth and paper ones, but I just didn't. And it's fine because I'm not using that planner size anyway. But the cool thing is that, you know, with these kinds of packages that you can get from cloth and paper regularly with the inserts, you can mix it up and mix and match and see what works for you. And if you do like it and you do want to stick with it, then go back and purchase more. I wouldn't purchase a year's worth because you don't know where your lifestyle is going to be and if you're still going to be in that planner. So that's that. Here are the two 
daily inserts we have this one which feels more vertical versus this one which is more horizontal because of the wider space but each has the priorities inspiration oh this one doesn't have inspiration so they basically just combine this it has to do notes on both sides um, there's grid paper here and then the schedule this one because it is taking up more space you don't get that dot grid and you don't get the inspiration box and then the date and then you highlight the day of the week so out of the two I really like this one more because I'm a vertical girl but that was one of the things I noticed and I really like this one but I like that it's an option that you can mix the hourly with a to do for the day so that is that I don't want to mix them up let me flip them there we go all right so minus the contact insert the other two I will use now let's get into the dashboards and journaling cards. I already separated the ones that I'm actually going to be using myself. So there's this Jador one and I know that there is a film on the back of here that you can peel off. And I'm just trying to see, oh it's clear. So when you leave this on, it's white, it's clear. Okay, so you can actually still see it. All right. And this I'll probably be putting in my half letter. I'm setting it up as a notebook. And then there's this journaling card that says, the future is always beginning now. And then the topics at the bottom, be as you wish to seem old ways won't open new doors you can if you think you can and this is like a brownish gray and then that same color is like extended over here this brown ask for what you want and be prepared to get it by Maya Angelou and I love these three as for what I'm not a huge fan of was the other journaling cards so there's the month of june here and even though there is a backing on this you can't even see really like looking at it you have to strain your eyes to see the month this dashboard well this journaling card here matches this dashboard and this is apparently her ceiling and then this card here it says my wish for you is that life becomes all that you want it to. Your dreams stay big and your worries stay small. You never need to carry more than you hold. And while you're out there getting where you're getting to, I hope you know somebody loves you. I don't like that it's cut off. I'm just, yeah, I wouldn't use these. So back in the bag that they go. And even with the June one, you know, giving something like this away, you can cover it with washi tape. And voila. Because basically that's what these are like, washi cards. Now, as for the dashboards, this is that cardstock one. And I was thinking about whether or not I wanted to use this one. But I was thinking of possibly layering it with this Maya Angelo card and put a cute little clip and put this in the front of my planner because I do have that clear cover which is also from cloth and paper and I will link below in addition to the sub boxes some clear cover options for you guys so let's go ahead and see what this would look like I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Just something to play around with. And then I also have the option of this one. 
as well but I really like the Maya Angelou one I will probably put this on another dashboard in my planner so this one I thought about it and I'm gonna layer one of the journaling cards with it just need to find a cute clip so that's that and then the other two I can't even pronounce this word to be putting it into my planner but it just doesn't speak to me anyway a workshop or studio especially one used by artists or designer and this I'm gonna tell y'all though this vellum this vellum is is nice I was hoping that I would have got a vellum dashboard or something in the October box but it was the spiral the 2020 spiral planner instead which I ended up giving to my sister and I was gonna use it but I talked about it in my don't force yourself to use a planner video and then this one is for a traveler I don't really care about the times in other cities if I'm being completely honest so these are definitely gonna be going in my nah fam pile so that that and that as for what's left I mean sticky notes and some stickers so here are the are these the espresso yes the espresso flags and I like to use these in my planner to mark off certain pages and then there are these these are the new sticky notes the inbox ones which I'll definitely use and it kind of looks like an email oh these are so nice good quality y'all I'll get cloth and paper always has amazing quality um but you put the date and the subject and then your message and then wham bam thank you man so that's gonna be good and then these which are circle and um one of my faves on instagram is onika planned it she her planners and her layering is just everything for me so i love 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 these and then so these are good for layering but of course you can also write on them i wonder just how sticky they are okay so the adhesive is right there so that's that and then we get into another signature of cloth and paper i thought these were matte i don't think they are no these are not the matte ones oh i thought they were the matte ones i prefer the matte stickers but these are the other ones where are my cloth and paper here we go this is where i keep the other ones that i have that i got in the october station i mean it was so many it was the these are the matte looking ones so yeah new dots new corners i love that these are gray though and these are great to make little lists or just to even if you're not checking anything off and I don't have nails so I can play with these more but that is it and then also did this come in the box no this came in the other box no I had placed another what I'm talking about came in another box came in my regular order when I ordered the um cover and disc so that is it for what came in the cloth and paper sub box what I'm going to be using what I'm going to be keeping but I hope that that gave you some insight into sub boxes in general to see if you guys would like to try it or not let me know down in the comment section have you tried a sub box would you try a sub box what sub box would you like to try and feel free to leave any other questions or suggestions you have in the comment section as well be sure to check out all the links in the description box, which will have links to related videos, products featured, the sub boxes I mentioned, all that good stuff. And of course, the link to 
the blog and Instagram. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. If you're not subscribed to the Chaotic Critic fam, I don't know what you're waiting for. Let's do this together. One, two, three, subscribe. And for all of you that are, I thank you guys so much. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.